This film is about how Greater Manchester Coalition of Disabled People was formed and what GMCDP has done over the last 35 years. We can't tell you in such a short film even a fraction of what GMCDP has done, but this is just going to be the tip of the iceberg. GMCDP is a disabled persons organisation run and controlled by disabled people. It's often known as the Coalition as well as GMCDP. We welcome disabled people and non-disabled people as allies and members, but it's only disabled people that can be involved in the decision-making processes about GMCDP. In all that we do, GMCDP aims to promote the inclusion of disabled people in society, find and challenge the discrimination and barriers faced by disabled people, promote independence, that's disabled people having their own choice and control over their own lives, and encourage and support disabled people to get together and organise. GMCDP was officially born at a meeting on the 22nd of June 1985, but a lot of work has been done since that to get to this point. Some disabled people in Greater Manchester and around the UK had been linking up, sharing ideas and campaigning since the early 1970s. This had a big impact on how GMCDP was set up and the work its members did and the work it thought was important. Within a year, GMCDP had its first office and three members of staff, as well as a committed core group of members who carried on the networking and the campaigning. Here are some photos that give us a glimpse of what it was happening before GMCDP was set up and through the rest of the 1980s. The first image shows one of GMCDP's founding members, Ken Lum, taking part in a protest with other members of a disabled drivers group outside Rochdale Town Hall in July 1976. They were protesting against the government's decision to withdraw trikes. These were the only support for a disabled person to get around at that time. Jump into 1983, here are some future members of GMCDP with other disabled activists and allies picketing the Stoke Mandeville Games. It was part of the national campaign happening in sport and other areas at that time against apartheid in South Africa. This picture features from left to right Judith Holman, Keith Stevens, Kevin Hyatt and Mark Todd amongst many others. From 1980, Greater Manchester Council for Voluntary Services gave support to bring disabled people together from around Greater Manchester. GMCVS and a group calling itself the Greater Manchester Disability Action Group held a public meeting on the 16th of June 1984 called Strategies for a Coalition. This is a leaflet promoting that meeting. More than 70 disabled people attended this event. You gotta change your way of thinking. Disabled people campaigned for many years for a law that would make discrimination of disabled people illegal. The Disability Discrimination Act was finally passed in 1995. This photo is of six people from GMCDP outside the House of Commons when they joined the British Council of Organisations of Disabled People in lobbying Parliament on the 9th of April 1986. One person is holding a sign saying Echoes Bracket Worsley. GMCDP lobbied 11 MPs on that day. Closer to home, members of GMCDP and other disabled people campaigned for Manchester Town Hall to be made accessible, as there was only steps into the building. This photo is from the 18th of October 1986, showing a group of people demonstrating by one of the entrances, some holding placards. An accessible entrance was opened in December 1987. GMCDP was also busy making links with disabled people around the world to share knowledge and experiences. This photograph is from when the chair of the Disabled Peoples International 
Harry Ems from Canada visited GMCDP on the 27th of May 1986. Henry is in the middle with GMCDP's Ken Lum on the left. 1986 saw GMCDP find its first office on 11 Anson Road, Manchester. The photo is the exterior of a porter cabin and although this seems insignificant, it was very important for GMCDP to have a space to promote itself. Not just to find new members, but to also let people know about campaigns and the information bulletins and the coalition magazines which GMCDP was now regularly sending out to members. This photo is from a Disabled People's Open Day at Stratford Sports Hall in the autumn of 1986, organised by GMCDP and Manchester Disability Forum. This picture shows people looking around the information stalls in the sports hall. Even though NADEX, the National AIDS Exhibition, is not popular with everyone, in 1986 and 1989, GMCDP took advantage of being offered a stall to promote ourselves. This is a picture of Ian Stanton, GMCDP's information worker at that time, on one of these stalls. January 1988 saw GMCDP organising a protest outside Granada Studios in Manchester. This was because a disabled actor, Nabil Shaban, had been turned down for a part because it was said children would be frightened by his impairment. GMCDP also began a national campaign to introduce a code of practice on the employment of disabled people in television. This photo shows, on the right, Nabil Shaban with a large crowd of protesters, including GMCDP members Neville Strouger, Steve Busby and Mark Todd. In 1988, GMCDP also helped the British Council of Organisations of Disabled People to organise a lobby of Parliament on the 28th of July. The theme will be familiar to many people cuts to benefits. Over a thousand people took part, roads were blocked and speeches were made. On the 26th and 27th of March 1988, an Arts and Disabled People Conference was held in Manchester, organised by a few groups, including GMCDP and Manchester City Council's Equals Opportunities Unit. This came about after GMCDP coordinated a campaign to stop an earlier conference going ahead in 1986 when disabled people were not properly included as well as the proposed venue not being accessible. In the 1980s, GMCDP also set up its first office and employed staff who worked on access guides, took part in discussions about transport and housing for disabled people in Greater Manchester, organised and attended conferences, and they also planned and applied for funding for the future of GMCDP. GMCDP also regularly produced information bulletins and answered any inquiries from disabled people and others. Finally, before we move on to the 1990s, we must mention the nationally respected Coalition magazine, which has continued to be in place and has often been a place for heated and sometimes controversial debates about issues facing disabled people, including things like the barriers and discrimination that disabled people face, changing attitudes towards disabled people, the social model of disability and learning what it is, disabled people's rights to live, and many, many more. As we saw in the previous film, disabled people had been campaigning for our rights and inclusion in society for many years. When we look at the 1990s, we see GMCDP flourishing. Campaigning on the streets was a regular event around the country, with GMCDP members taking part alongside other disabled people. Some of the issues we campaigned for in this era and further eras to come are anti-discrimination legislation, accessible transport, making buildings and services more accessible, better support with living at home, education and working. 
We also increased our activities in many other ways. We developed projects for young disabled people aged 15 to 25 years old. We established a successful training program for disabled people known as the Disability Action Trainers. They provided training to other disabled people as well as organisations from the voluntary, public and private sectors. We started coordinating and training these volunteers to support GMCDP's work. We continue to also provide the information services, regular information bulletins and a quarterly coalition magazine. Once again, we can only highlight a fraction of what GMCDP has achieved in this decade, but let's have a look at some photos. On the 27th of October 1990, Manchester was one of three cities hosting a rally of disabled people demanding a fairer benefits system. Around 500 people took part. GMCDP was one of the organisations planning and running the rally. And this photo shows Tony Heaton addressing the large crowd in Albert Square. In these days of ramped buses, taxis and trains, it may be hard for people to imagine a time when some disabled people could not use public transport. In October 1991, a group of GMCDP members took time out of a National Disabled People's Conference to hold an impromptu protest about public transport not being accessible. This photo shows them catching a bus, but they actually end up catching several by blocking Oxford Road. On the 18th of July 1992, GMCDP hired a coach and a large amount of people went to the London Weekend Television. Over a thousand disabled people were protesting against a patronising telethon show that raised money for so-called good causes. The protest finally convinced the programme makers to drop the telethon. They said compassion fatigue was the reason for acting the programme, but we all know differently. As we mentioned earlier, it was not all protesting on the streets in the 1990s. There was a thriving community of professional disabled musicians and performers. This photo is from the 31st of October 1992 when the lesbian a cappella group The Tokens performed at GMCDP's annual general meeting. Their set included a heartbreaking rendition of the Johnny Crescendo's classic The Ballad of Josie Evans about a disabled woman left in a short stay institution for 11 years until she died. This photo from the 5th of May 1993 is showing GMCDP members outside Manchester Town Hall. It highlights how issues facing disabled people in the 2010s have not necessarily been new. It's from a rally and petition signing that GMCDP organised in central Manchester opposing the Disability Grants Bill which proposed to cap personal care support. This photo shows GMCDP staff and members out on the streets again in October 1993. They picketed the party celebrating the formation of the trade union, Unison. It was being held at an inaccessible Nalgo social club. As this was the union most GMCDP staff were members of, the lack of access was even more significant. The campaign for anti-discrimination legislation continued in the 1990s. This photo is from the 9th of July 1994 when many GMCDP members travelled to London to join in the Rights Now demonstration in Whitehall. It was in support of a Disabled People's Civil Rights Bill. After this and many other national marches, demonstration rallies and protests, anti-discrimination legislation was finally achieved when the Disability Discrimination Act was passed in Parliament in 1995. For much of the 1990s, GMCDP was buzzing with young disabled people. One of the many highlights was the making of an animation video in 1994. 
The film Disability Is was featured at film festivals in Bradford and Munich. It was an expression of the young people's experiences and aspirations. This image is a group of four young disabled people reviewing what they liked and did not like about this film. Around a similar time, GMCDP began to recognise that disabled people were becoming images of pity on national television. Although the telephone had been successfully stopped, the BBC version of the charity fundraiser Children in Need still continued. This photo shows members of GMCDP and Unison's Disabled Members Group disrupting television coverage of the show in Manchester. As they say, nothing about us without us. From 1997 to 2002, independence festivals were organised around the UK to celebrate disabled people's lives and culture through music, art and drama. Three of the festivals were held in Manchester with members of GMCDP and other disabled people being part of the organising groups. This photo shows the band Heart and Soul performing at an independence festival. We hope this film has given a flavour of what Greater Manchester Coalition of Disabled People is about and what we've achieved in the 1980s and 90s. Thank you for taking an interest in the disabled people's movement and how that has made a real impact on the laws and legislation for disabled people within Greater Manchester. GMCDP has continued into the millennium and still has a presence in Greater Manchester today. Recently, we have continued to campaign against harsh changes to the benefit system, the slow cuts and eventual demolition of services like the Independent Living Fund, and also provide official statements on things like the Assisted Suicide Bill. Keep your eyes peeled for the next instalment of what we've done in the 2000s. We hope you've been inspired to join GMCDP. If so, then please get in touch with us by phoning on 0161 636 7534. That's 0161 636 7534. You can also text on 077 82 540 That's 077 82 540 531 or you can email at info at gmcdp.com to find out more you can also visit our website at www.gmcdp.com or you could follow us on facebook twitter and instagram by searching at gmcdp